Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's iHockey011 with another opening today, hockey-related. I know it's not a usual box opening, but today uh, we have a mail day. Um, I don't know if y'all of you know, but uh, my dad and I, we're pretty big into collecting hockey cards, especially the vintage ones. Now, the older, the better. Um, in fact, uh, me and my dad, we have the entire set, uh, first set of hockey cards, 1910, the C56 set. It's a very beautiful set, and I plan on making videos on the entire set uh, relatively soon. I just have to get around to it. But I wanted to go ahead and since uh, me and my dad, we acquired a couple new cards, I wanted to do a mail day for us. And uh, so this is what we've got. We've got, uh, um, well, actually, I'm not going to tell you what I've got. But uh, first, I'm going to go ahead and apologize for not uploading yesterday. As many of you probably know, my upload schedule is every Wednesday and Sunday. Um, but yesterday was Easter, so I didn't want to upload um, as I try to spend that day with my family as much as possible and do as many things as I can with them. So it's kind of a rest day and just spending time with the family. So uh, that's what I did, um, and I apologize for that, but I'm making up for it today with a double upload. I uploaded a Series 2 box that was very good, so I highly recommend checking it out if you haven't checked out that. Um, but what's in here is even better. I don't think you can really beat it. Um, obviously, there's a couple cards that can beat it, but I really love this player. He's one of my favorite players, and there's not a lot of these cards floating around. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, I accidentally opened it because I didn't know what it was, so I just taped it back up so we could open it again. Um, which I apologize about, guys. I just, uh, my dad was gone, and I didn't know this was coming. And so, uh, when I said, hey, there's a package, you should go open and see what's in there. And I did, and, uh, well, I was surprised. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, you know, a little orange package. I'm going to go ahead and tilt the camera down now so we can get a better, better view at him. All right, guys. That should be good. All right. So this is what we have, um... We have a 1924 V144 Champs Cigarette Hockey Card Howie Lorenz PSA 2 with an MK grading, meaning someone wrote something on the back. Um, but yes, there is the card in all of its glory, beautiful glory. Um, as you can see, I'll try to get them up close to the camera for you guys so you guys can get a really good look at the card. There you go, you can see the grade there. There's the back of the card. Champ cigarettes. There's the 56, that's what the MK grading is for. If you wanna go ahead and pause it and read the back of there, you're welcome to go ahead and read there. It's from Hamilton, Ontario. And there we go, there's the back of the PSA, so you can see. And, uh, yeah, that's the card. So I'm going to set him back here for a second. Um, well, actually, I'll just hold him. I'm going to go ahead and go over a little bit of an overview of this set and the cards and champs in general. Um, so, uh, these were released, uh, relatively late for the tobacco set. They were released, um, champ cigarette hockey cards appeared during the 1924-1925 NHL season. This unnumbered hockey card set... Uh, this, unnum this unnumbered hockey card set was produced by Tobacco Products Corporation of Canada and inserted into packs of Champ cigarettes. The cards measure about one and a half to two and a half and sixty, uh, two and a half inches. Sorry, I forgot to say inches after that. I apologize. <laughs> um, and 60 unnumbered cards, uh, make up the complete 1924-25 C144 Champs Cigarettes hockey set. So I'll go ahead and go over that just one more time real quickly. Issued relatively late for a tobacco set. Uh, Champs cigarette, Cigarettes hockey cards appeared during the 1924-25 uh, NHL season. This unnumbered hockey card set was produced by Tobacco Products Corporation of Canada and inserted into packs of Champs Cigarettes. The cards measure about one and a half by two and a half inches, and 60 unnumbered cards make up the complete 1924 25 
Champ Cigarette set. Uh, among the cards are many of the top NHL stars of the era. You have, uh, including Howie Morenz, George Vesna, King Clancy, and Ariel Juliet. So all very big names, very good players. Cannot go wrong with either of them. Um, there was a hockey contest where you could get a prize for turning in the complete set of cards, though it is unknown what the actual prize was. Pictures of four players were missing at the time of printing the set, which is important as uh, they didn't have anyone to fill those spots. So what they did is they printed a card with a Stanley Cup on it that could be submitted for any of the missing players for the contest. Uh, so you could get your prize, so you could just use the Stanley Cup card, and that would basically count as the entire set. So it was a pretty neat little cheat back in the day. Uh, not, more, not much more is known about the rare set of early hockey cards, unfortunately. So that's a little unfortunate, but, you know, it's still cool that we do have some history and we've got these guys living to, you know, prove that we've still got them. So that's really nice. Um, now this is a little bit of an overview overview on Morenz if you don't really know about him. I mean, uh, he's a very good player. I mean, he was known as the Bay Roof of Hockey um, at the time, and uh, I think it holds up quite well. I mean, he was an incredible player. You cannot, you cannot beat him, in my opinion. Um, in the NHL, he is one of the most dominant players in the league and set several league scoring records. A strong skater, Morenz was referred to as the Stafford Streak. Uh, Stratford Streak, sorry, and Mitchell Meteor in reference to his speed on the ice. So he was a very fast skater at the time, and uh, I mean, it contributed to a lot of his points. He was a very good player. Considered one of the first stars of the NHL, Morenz played 14 seasons in the league. He was a member of a Stanley Cup winning team three times, all with the Canadians. During his NHL career, he placed in the top 10 leading scores 10 times. For seven straight seasons, Morenz led the Canadians in both goal goals scored and points. He was named the winner of the Hart Trophy as the most valuable player of the league three times, and he led the league once in goals scored and twice in points scored. After the introduction of NHL star teams in 1931, he was named to the NHL first all-star team twice and the NHL second all-star team once. Morenz died, uh, sadly, Morenz died from complications of a broken leg, an injury he suffered in a game. So, um... Many of you may not know that, but especially back then, an injury like that could be very fatal, especially if it was a femur bone. Um, it can be very deadly. I mean, it's very rough. Um, but of course, with modern day medicine, we have advanced quite a bit, and so you don't really see that too often. Uh, but yes, it was very unfortunate what happened. Um, after his death, the Canadians retired his jersey number, the first time the team had done so for any player. When the Hockey Hall of Fame opened in 1945, Morenz was one of the original nine inductees. In 1950, the Hockey Hall of Fame... Oh, sorry, not... I misspoke there. In 1950, the Canadian press named him the best ice hockey player of the first half of the 20th century, and in 2017, the NHL included him on their list of the 100 greatest players in league history. Uh, so yeah, he is a very, very neat card. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the back there again. Um, but yeah, I mean, an outstanding player. Canadians love him. If you're Canadian, I'm sure you love Howie Morenz. I mean, he's just a beautiful player, great player. He's uh, wonderful. I... Uh, I've always wanted a Howie Morenz card, and so now I've got one in 1924 Champs, and it's a grade two, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and end the video off with the Howie Morenz population. So these are the populations of graded Howie Morenz. Um, in the one category, there, uh, well, actually, we'll start with authentic. In the authentic category, there's one graded authentic. In the one category, there are three cards. In the 1.5 category, there are zero cards. 
and the two category there are uh, four cards a total of four um there are zero and the three category and in the four category there are three cards graded fives there are six graded six there are two graded seven there's one and graded eight there are two cards for a total of 18 um three plus qualifiers and then one uh just qualifier uh but so yeah there's not too many of these cards obviously um but yeah i love them all and uh i'm happy to have this and i hope to maybe one day to be able to complete this set but it's gonna be an extremely hard set i do have the stanley cup card though so if you guys would like to see a video of the stanley cup card go ahead and let me know um otherwise Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. Leave a like if you want to see more of these history vehicle, uh, not vehicles, <laughs> history card, uh, cards, um, you know, just going over the brief history of the cards and all of that stuff. Uh, I'm going to keep trying to improve this. I was a little nervous about this as to see how it would go um, as it's kind of a one take thing as once you open the package. That is what it is. Uh, but I think it went all right. I had a few fumbles, but I'm definitely going to keep improving for you guys. And I'm just happy to get this out to you, the first mail day. I'm going to probably try to do mail days on every Monday when I have mail. Uh, so, yeah, stay tuned. And as always, if you like the video, go ahead and leave a like. Leave a comment with any advice or any um, helpful information or just leave a comment if you say hey man that was a great video i really appreciate every comment even if you say hey man that wasn't a good video i didn't like it i appreciate it you know it is what it is i can't have i can't please everyone so uh i just appreciate every comment even if it's a bad comment i don't care so thank you everyone and uh if you like and you want to see more keep subscribing and i will keep you guys tuned with all of the cool hockey products that are coming out and vintage hockey products. Anyways, thank you so much, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. See you next video. Bye.